Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the muscles of the shoulder, specifically those which are at the glenohumeral joint. Just a reminder, that joint is capable of flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, medial rotation, and lateral rotation. I'm going to start with rotation by talking about the muscles of the rotator cuff. So to remember those muscles, just remember sits. The supraspinatus above the spine of the scapula, infraspinatus below the spine of the scapula, teres minor, and then flip it over to the other side to find the subscapularis. So you might have noticed I skipped one of these muscles. This is the teres major. The teres major is not part of the rotator cuff because it's not inserting onto the head of the humerus to make a cuff. However, it does rotate, so I will be talking about it. So the infraspinatus and teres minor are going to and from pretty much the same place. So they're going to do the same action, which is lateral rotation. Below the teres minor, the teres major is running off in the opposite direction, so it makes sense it's going to do the opposite action, which is medially rotate. When you flip it over, you can see the teres major and the subscapularis, both of which medially rotate. Two other muscles which play a role in rotation are the pectoralis major and latissimus dorsi. So what you're seeing here is the clavicle. This is part of the pectoralis major. On the underside, this is where the latissimus dorsi is inserting onto the shaft of the humerus. So you might have noticed I skipped one of the muscles of the rotator cuff. So the supraspinatus is a muscle of the rotator cuff, but it does not actually rotate. It assists in rotation by keeping your humerus up where it belongs in its joint, um, but because it's pulling from the top, it doesn't cause rotation. It helps with abduction. So the supraspinatus abducts but the more important abductor I took off so we could see the rest of those muscles. The more important abductor is the deltoid. So when you use your whole deltoid, you abduct at the shoulder. However, when you have a muscle like this that has a really big origin, you can probably do more than one simple thing, which is the case with the deltoid. So, if you are only using the anterior fibers of your deltoid, that will cause you to flex at the shoulder. Using only the posterior fibers and pulling from the back causes extension. So, your flexors are going to be pulling towards the front of your body, your pectoralis major is a flexor, and your core cobrachialis also does flexion at the shoulder. So the core cobrachialis is running from the coracoid process onto the humerus. So those three do flexion in the front. So to find the extenders, you need to go to the back. So the posterior fibers of the deltoid extend, but also the latissimus dorsi. Remember, it's a huge muscle in your back. The latissimus dorsi also does extension at the shoulder. So I believe the only action we haven't talked about is adduction. Adduction. 
So your abductors are pulling your humerus up and away from the body, your deltoid and your supraspinatus. So to find the adductors, you need muscles that are pulling from the bottom, going towards the body. So the pectoralis major and latissimus dorsi are both adductors.